Hello and welcome to Plus Equal. Today we will talk about the coordinates in Unity. Whenever you have a game object and you press it, you see these little gizmos here, these, these arrows with different colors. These arrows are the same thing that when you press the move tool and press the object, for example. I have the move tool, I press the object, it's the same thing that getting the object here. And these little arrows correspond to the X axis Z axis and I axis, just like here, you can see that they match the color and the direction, ok? The move tool lets you move the position of the object uh, in the scene, so I can grab this arrow and push the object on in, the, in this direction or this direction, or I can do the same with the, the blue arrow or the green arrow up and down, but I can also take these, these planes here, when you see this surface, this surface means that we are Instead of taking just one arrow, we are taking two arrows at the same time. For example, if I grab the green plane, I'm moving in these two directions. Like I told you in previous videos, every game object have a transform. For example, we have our cube here, and here we have the transform. The main camera have a transform. The light have a transform. And the transform itself have three main properties. The position, the rotation, and the scale. At this moment we mess around with our cube a little bit, so we have these weird values here and no big deal, we can just reset them. You go to, to these three dots and we have reset. And now everything is at zero, except the scale that you need at one to see something on the screen. Also these positions are kind of related with these tools here. So this is the move tool and the move tool change the position, the rotate tool, and here we have the rotation. And if I change the rotation, you can see the value is changing. And here we have the scale tool. And if I change the scale tool, just in the I axis, there we have it. We change the, the, the scale in this axis. I will put it back to 1, and it's a cube again. You can also change the values here. For example, if I want to move the object, I can even have the scale tool active, but I can change the position here to the left or to the right, up and down. You can change it by just going over the, the axis and property that you want and change it to the right or, or to the left with your mouse. Just grab it, press it, and you can change the value. You can even make operations here, mathematic operations. So I have 0 in my X position, and if I put uh, 0 plus 1, he just moved to, to the right a little bit. I can do it again, plus 3, and press enter, and it's 4 now. Uh, you see that the game object moved here, and if we go here, ok, it's to the right. So these little gizmos here, you can change them to see the, the position of the object. For example, now I'm seeing things from the right perspective, from the front perspective, left, back. I can even go top or, or down, or in this case bottom. You have many options here to explore. Some people call this the left-handed coordinates. So you see these, these arrows here, these gizmos, like they are disposed. So I just found this at Stack Overflow, and here we have the left-hand coordinate system that I was talking about, and the right-hand coordinates. Unity uses the left-hand coordinates. So you have this finger pointing at the x-axis, your middle finger will be pointing to the z-axis, while your indicator is pointing to the i-axis. Ok, and that's it for this video. We talked about how to change the position, rotation and scale, for game objects in Unity. So go go ahead, try it yourself, mess with the values and see if you get the hang of it. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't lose any other videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.